Also today, the police department got more civilian oversight. The first elected district council members sworn in. Each police district now has community representatives who will work with officers on issues ranging from policies and practices to community safety concerns and more. CBS2 investigator Dave Savini here now to explain how this is all going to work. Dave. Marie and Jim, police reform accountability, transparency were just some of the priorities talked about today as history was made on center stage at the Harold Washington Cultural Center. It's all in an effort to build back trust between the people and the police. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations, you are installed. You are looking at the 66 newly elected district council members. They are all part of Chicago's Community Commission on Public Safety and Accountability. There are three community members representing each of Chicago's 22 police districts. They are supposed to have a say in the search for the permanent police superintendent, and they will be able to voice the different needs and concerns of each individual police district. The commission will also have input over COPA, the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson welcomed the new members and said he believed today's historic moment will lead to just a more just society with a voice from every community being heard. I am eagerly anticipating the opportunity to work with these other elected officials because they have the expertise and they have the information at a hyper-local level of what the community needs. Each police district has its priorities, and you will hear from some of the new district members, the council members, later on our News at 6, live in the newsroom. Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators, back to you. Thank you, Dave.